It's about thousands of regular people like you and me who are fighting the systemic racism that produces and perpetuates the disproportionate and cumulative exposure to multiple toxins and contamination in the air, the water, and soil. Because environmental justice communities are the first and worst hit by extreme weather, sea level rise, and other impacts of climate change. With the focus on environmental justice, we can begin to mitigate our previous mistakes by taking note of whatever's missing, needed, or required for the environment to thrive along with humanity. Environmental justice and climate justice is about getting it right. It's about doing the work that is needed in order to make people's lives safe, chemical and hazard free and as comfortable as possible. My biggest concern about environmental and climate justice for my neighborhood is the danger posed by extreme weather events. Extreme weather events like long heat waves or freezing temperatures that require air conditioning or extensive heating can stretch family budgets, requiring tough choices that can pose a tremendous public health threat. And while policies that mitigate these disparities are essential, if we don't address the policies and processes that created the sacrifice zones in the first place, we'll just end up perpetuating this inequality. 